Celestun, Mexico is a small fishing village on the Gulf coast of Mexico, 60 miles southwest of Merida. While the beaches are secluded, most people visit to go on a Celestun Flamingo tour. Surrounding the town is the Celestun Biosphere Reserve, unique for the flocks of flamingos that migrate to the mangroves in the winter before moving to the nearby Rio Lagartos to nest in the spring. Good morning everybody from Celestun. If you are new to our channel, my name is Sara. I am Luca. And this is Liu. Leave everything else. If you like our video and our vlogs, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, hit the bell to have the notifications when we publish a new video. We are in Celestun uh, on the Yucatan Peninsula and we are... Ooh, I want to change the We are in the off-road mood. Yeah, off-road mood. We are exploring Celestun that is really known and famous for the pink flamingos. Here it's full. Uh, if I can make the zoom, you can see it better. We will try to get there. Yeah, okay, you can see here it's full of pink flamingos. So we decide not to make a boat tour, right Luca? Yeah, we tried, uh, we saw on Google Maps uh, a little bit where the lagoons are, so we decided to take our camper, track mm -hmm. camper on an off-road tour to get uh, as near that we can and make some videos and share some videos with you guys. And probably try to sleep uh, here tonight. Uh, yes. With this spot, with all the flamingos there. Now we will go down from the, the track camper and we will show you more of this beautiful place. We like to be 100% realistic with you. We will show you the beautiful part of this place and also the bad part of this place yeah because it's full of trash it's full of trash full of garbage and there is no organization no infrastructure in mexico to support all the tourism and there is really a bad situation right now So if you are watching our video, please try to use as less plastic as you can. Try to respect the environment because we are guests of this planet, please. Let's try to make silly things uh, so probably in the future they will do something uh, to keep the places cleaner, start doing some programs with um, the waste organization uh, to try to... The government. Yeah. To keep these places safe. This is a Reserva della Biosfera the Celestum. Ria Celestum. Si. And uh, so this is a reserve uh, and should be protected, uh, clean. Uh, and uh, actually we have the all the garbage here, it's all dirty. So And they try what they do because they don't know how to manage the waste and the garbage. They just try to hide, to burn all the stuff. So when you go around you can smell really bad. And it's, uh, and it's really toxic, yes. uh, so it's not a good thing. They should burn it in the right way with, uh, so without... We, we are trying to go off-road as well because we are trying to go out of the city center to see also this aspect of, uh, of the tourism, you know, behind the scene of all the Mexico tourism and then the explosion of the tourism here to, to see what, what we can do. and if we can help. For now I'll just uh, enjoy a little bit the flamingos because it's a show.
5 fun flamingo facts. Baby flamingos are white at birth, not pink. The pink color of the flamingos develops over the first year or two as a result of the beta carotene in their diet. Both the male and female flamingos build the nest and take turns sitting on the egg to protect it. They also take turns feeding the flamingo's cheek. Flamingos steer up the mud with their feet to feed. While their heads are upside down, they are able to filter the food and expel the muddy water. The feathers under their wings are black, which is noticeable when the flamingos are in flight. Plastic loam flamingos were created by artist Don Featherstone in the 1950s and became an American cultural icon. In 2009, Madison, Wisconsin designated the plastic loan flamingo as its city bird. Okay, so Sarah is cooking uh, some uh, chicken and potatoes, uh, some good meal, and um, we have uh, our window open, uh, and I, I will show you the currently situation. Probably somebody it's making a good uh, a good meal. So you can see all the dogs; uh, they are coming here outside uh, because they smell probably they are all there waiting waiting to taste <laughs> they, they are hoping they that we will give them something look at there they keep coming dogs <laughs> smelling their good food <laughs> 